So what I have here is just a simulation of the bottom of the uh, inside of a kitchen cupboard or a vanity. Um, the black areas would be the uh, the hole that was made for the pipe itself. So the pipes brought up through the bottom of the cabinet and you've gone ahead and placed your valve on, tightened it up and then realized that you didn't have, you didn't put a flange on there. Now, a person just asked me this the other day. I told them that I would uh, make a video a couple of days behind the eight ball, but anyway, I'm getting around to making it now. Um, so there's a bell flange, and uh, very common. I use these the majority of the time. Um, but in this situation, I can't use that. And the flat flange, I can as well. Years ago, they actually made a um, a split flange. I know they make them in uh, larger size. They still do, but I I'm, I haven't seen them for quite some time, as far as a half inch split. But what they have come up with is a plastic flange, and uh, it's just a matter of taking it. This one's already broke, but it's a matter of taking it and you bend it like so, and it's going to part here and in the bottom. Then you're just going to take it and work it back and forth, back and forth. And after probably doing that for about 15 seconds or so, you can take it and just peel it up. Or take your tilde knife and draw it through it. But it, you won't have to. You shouldn't have to. I, I did a couple times, but you can get away with just uh, bend back and forth and then take it like so. So, how it works. It's quite simple. It's just a matter of twisting it like so, and it just goes around the copper and drops down, and that's it. Uh, they're quite common, and they are plastic. They're not overly expensive, and it'll cover up the uh, the hole in the bottom of the cabinet. Sometimes the hole is a little bit, quite a bit bigger than the pipe, and. Uh, these are an ideal fix for it. Simple way to put them on, crack them open, drop them down, away you go. So anyway, I hope that's uh, answered your question that you had, and best of luck with your project. Have a great one.